Hello, this time we would like to consider the problem of counting surjective functions and we start with the following setup. Let A and B be finite sets where the cardinality of A is greater or equal than the cardinality of B. The question is, how many surjective functions from A to B are there? Now, this is the only uh, part that it's uh, relevant because if we were to flip this two, right, and remove the equality, well, there's no such a surjective function at all. So the problem becomes not very interesting from the um, combinatorial point of view. Now, let's start with something small, but not too small. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'll just consider the case where A consists of the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, while B consists of the characters A, B, and C. Those are my sets. Now, I want to start with a count, but, well, I, I have no idea how to count uh, originally surjections, but I can count functions. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put all the functions. Now, as we can see, in the process of constructing a function, we have to specify the output to each of the sing to each single input. So, to f of one, we have to say what it is. Uh, for f of two, we have to say what it is. Same for f of three, and the same for f of four. Now, when we look at that, we see that we have three options for each. Right? Three options, because we have three elements in our codomain, three possible outputs. So as we construct a function, we see that the multiplication principle applies, right? where, each of, where each process is, uh, is identified as simply uh, decide what is the output to this input. Well, that would be, in this case, three times three times 3 times 3. So now we have our count. We have 3 to the power of 4. But now here's a problem because we are now over counting. What are we over counting? Well, for example, um, the following uh, function is uh, counted in this step, um, but it shouldn't be there. Which one? Well, for example, this. The one that says that f of 1 is equal to f of 2 is equal to a, and the one that says that f of um, 3 is equal to f of 4, which is equal to b. In this case, this is a function that misses c. Ah, so this is not surjective. Well, Let's remove those. Right? And by I say miss, I indicate that the element is not in the range of that function. So the one that miss A, well, they're really functions we want to be a little bit more specific. These are functions that go from 1, 2, 3, 4 to the set containing B and C. Right? Because A is not present in the range. Right? So we can completely define the function in this fashion. Now, we could also miss B. But those are functions from 1, 2, 3, and 4 to the set containing A and C. A similar token, right? Those that miss C are functions from 1, 2, 3, 4 to the set containing A and B. Okay. Now, based on this observation, right, we can perform the count for each of these ones, right? Where we make the assignments, right? What is the value of 1? What is the value of 2? What is the value of 3? What is the value of 4? For each of these, we have two options. Right? 
And well, the total count would produce 2 to the power of 4. Now, on the same token, the ones that miss b, well, you have to specify the values of the function at each of the inputs, but you have two options for each of them. So that produces 2 to the power of 4. Same idea for those that miss c. Now you have 1, 2, 3, 4 up, 4 uh, steps that you need to complete. In order to specify your function, you have two options for each, and that produces 2 to the power of 4. And well, if you would like to collect them together, this is nothing else but 3 times 2 to the power of 4. Okay. But now, as we remove things, we now over removing. What is the things? What are the things that we over removed? For example, as we were removing the functions that miss a, well, we would also remove functions that miss a and b, but those were also removed when you consider the functions that miss b. Okay, so now we have to put them back. Well, that would be A and B, A and C, B and C. We form the description, and of course, this is a function that goes from 1, 2, 3, 4 to the set that contains C. For this one, it would be functions that go from 1, 2, 3, 4 to the set that contains B. And lastly, the functions that miss B and C. Well, as those functions 1, 2, 3, and 4 that go a. That's just containing A. But if we look at the format, it's just a kind of like a repetition of what we did in the previous step. You have to specify four values, four values for this, four values for this. Each of these have only one option to be executed, and well, that produces 1 to the power of 4, 1 to the power of 4, 1 to the power of 4 ways of constructing such a function in each of these cases. Well, if we combine all these things, what we have is 3 times 1 to the power of 4. Now, consider, do we have to put back, or I mean, do we have to remove something at this stage? Uh, no. Um, the reason is that uh, if we were to put back, or I mean, remove functions that miss A, B, and C, well, that would be a function from a non-empty domain to an empty codomain. Well, there's no such a thing, because you have to specify the inputs, the outputs. They have to come from somewhere. Okay, so I think we're done, um, and, uh, and we're ready to perform the actual count. But wait a second. Before, before we'll take it from, before we move, um, what I want to do is to see where is that these coefficients are coming from. Well, the coefficient 3 comes by considering, right, really the following question. I want to detect, or I want to choose two elements from the codomain to miss. In this case, miss A and B, miss A and C, miss B and C. But what I'm saying here is that among three, I'm going to choose two to miss. Now, on the same token, what I have here is that among three, I'm going to choose one to miss. And that corresponds to this coefficient. Here, what we have is something hidden, right? But we are not considering missing something for sure on this one. So, well, that would be C3, C1. Ah, okay, I think we're ready. Because now, what we can do is put it in... Uh, in the right order and summarize the information in the following way. So the count now looks like this. C three zero times three to the power of four minus C 
3, 1 times 2 to the power of 4 plus C3, 2 times 1 to the power of 4. But now we can imagine that if we were to enlarge the problem, um, we, don't, we wouldn't have to modify too many things. For example, if I was to ask uh, what would be the count of surjective functions uh, of the form from the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 containing those to the set containing the characters A, B, C, and D. Well, for this one, we would be, okay, let's begin. Right? Among four elements in your codomain, you select none to miss, to surely miss. Hmm? Okay. Now, you have five uh, inputs to specify and for each of them you have four options. Now, I will have to take away those that for sure miss one because they were counted here. Okay, so let's take them away. But to do that, what we have is the following. We have uh, from four, you choose one times three to the power of five. Why? Well, for the same reasons that we discussed before. For this one, I choose one element to miss for sure. Now, I still have to specify five inputs, but now I only have three options. And again, well, I over-discounted, so I have to put things back. But what are the things that I have to put back? Well, those that have this form, because now by removing one, I may also remove two, right? So I have to put them back. And now we just have exactly the same reasons, and we continue in this fashion until we get to only one possible output, right, for our functions. So um, I'll leave the general question for you to discuss it in the comments and like uh, and like the uh, the video if you liked okay see you next time